Very good. Been home. Hey guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. All right. Very good. Hey. So <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you back, guys. Uh, how was your weekend? Excellent. Nice. <laughs> nice. Super good. Excellent. We're so, alive. Tell me. <laughs> yes, we are alive. That's very interesting. It's the same every single day, but. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. So um, I'm really glad to know that you're back. And um, I just want, as you know, I wanted to tell me what was the last class topic. Do you remember? <laughs> defining and not defining clutches. Defining and non defining clause. Uh, That's right. Yes. What's a defining clause? Defining clause um, uh, contains mm -hmm. information totally necessary. <laughs> and how do you say that in English? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but we yeah, it, but that's exactly it. It's pretty much something that has important or needed information for you to understand the message. Good job, girl. And what's a non-defining clause? Contain information unnecessary. Yes. <laughs> Unnecessary or just extra information. Extra information. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't really, it's not really necessary for it's you necessary. to understand, understand the meaning, right? All right. Try to give me some information, uh, an example with defining clauses, please. Um, the teacher yeah. in the video call is or <laughs> is teaching us. <laughs> I'm sorry. The teacher? Uh -huh. No. The person who is in the video call is teaching us. The person who is in the video call is teaching us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Good. Isn't he? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, nice. Let me move my air conditioning here, a.k.a. my fan, because it's very hot. <laughs> Do you know what is the meaning of a.k.a.? A -A. A -A. A -A. A -A. I'm not oh. sure about the meaning, but a.k.a. is like, for example, if I say my air conditioning, a.k.a. my fan. Where? No? I oh, yeah, 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 uh, it's like, um, a.k.a., uh, this is John, a.k.a. my brother, right? Uh-huh, exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's like uh, you're giving a little bit more of information of what you're talking uh -huh. about. A.k.a., yeah, I remember that. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, I don't know, this is the one I got. Uh, it's alias. That's alias. alias. Mm -hmm. For example, um, I don't know. Ernesto Guevara, a.k.a. El Crazy. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Alias. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, a.k.a. You're, you're talking about it. So, give me an example of a non-defining clause. A extra a information. A, a nickname, so? Two. Something similar, like a nickname, mm -hmm. an Name? alias, yeah. yes. That's right. Sobre nombre. Uh-huh. All right. All right. So, if we go to the right, we can see McDonald's, a.k.a. a burger place. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Yeah, but you can use <laughs> you can use a lot of uh, um, ah, what's wrong with my mind today? You can use a lot of sarcasm. Um, with yeah. that. you can yeah, actually yeah. include a lot of sarcasm. Like I said, I'm gonna turn on my fan, my, my air conditioning, aka my fan. My fan. Mm -hmm. That's right. I will I will turn on my cell phone, aka my new computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, um, ah, let's see. Ah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Now, give me an indefinite clause. Uh, indefinite clause. Oh, non-defining is the thing. Non-defining. Non non-defining. Mm -hmm. Do it before I select mm -hmm. a victim. Defining and undefining. Uh-huh. Okay. Why right. not defining clause, right? Non-defining clause. And I'm okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Go ahead. Okay, for example, my friend Paul, mm -hmm. who went to the same school as me, is a great lawyer. Nice. My nice. friend Paul, yeah. Comma, who went, who went to, to the, the same school, school as, me? as me, comma, is a great lawyer. Excellent, William. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Why? Because we don't need to know that he went to the same school. You already said my friend Paul is a great lawyer. Great. Excellent. Now, okay. one more, non-defining. Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Anaida. Najib mm -hmm. who building the new Bill. hospital, uh -huh. it is president. It's a good president. Yes. Okay, good. Nayib Bukele, comma, who built, in this case, in the past. Who built, uh -huh. who built the new hospi hospital uh -huh. is a good president. Okay, great, great. Good example of a non-defining clause. That's right. Okay, Alejandro Narbona, comma, who's very fat, comma, is a great teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. That that information is not needed. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, my mom's car, which which is gray, it's very expensive. That's right. Exactly. Uh, which is gray, it is it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Have you okay. ever seen the meme? Sorry, Julio. Go ahead. My friend Mayor. Mary is a secretary and she is very good. Excellent secretary. Mm -hmm. My first marriage. Primer matrimonio. Ah, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, no, I, I heard, yes, I heard my first <laughs> marriage. Me teacher. Go ahead, Vero. My older sister name who live in the United States United States is Sylvia. Okay, nice, nice. Who lives in the United States is not really necessary. Good. I see that now you have actually practiced a little bit more non-defining clauses. Excellent. And I want two more defining clauses. Defining. Mm -hmm. For example, she's the lady who lent me her phone. She's the lady who lent me her phone. Nice. Excellent. Defining. Defining. Me, hey, teacher. Go ahead. Oi, Cassie. Irene. Um, Leonardo da Vinci paints Mona Lisa. Uh -huh. Leonardo da Vinci, da Vinci painted Mona Paint, Lisa. Paint Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or you can say, for example, yeah, that's right. It's the finding. Leonardo da Vinci painted Mona Lisa. Simple as that. Great example. All right. Children. Uh huh, William. Uh, children who hate chocolate are uncommon. The finding. Children who hate who hate chocolate, chocolate are uncommon. That's right. Exactly. Adults who don't like beer are uncommon. Are common, yeah. <laughs> Are common too. Okay, good. So, guys, let's go ahead and work on it. I have David kind of hiding, you know. Seems like David is hiding. He always participates, but no example today from you. Do you have one? Uh, <clears throat> Scarlett Johansson, who, who is a great actress. Actress. Mm -hmm. Actress. Uh, what else? Uh, was participate on um, the Avengers? 
was was participate in Avengers. Okay. Yes, let me help you there. Scarlett okay. Johansson, who's a great actress, participated. Partic uh, uh -huh. Participated in the Aver in the Avengers. That's right. Avengers. All right, guys. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Picasso is a painter. How do you work with painting is a track? Picasso is a painter, however. However, his painting is an abstract. Uh -huh. Abstract. Abstract, yeah, his painting is abstract. Leonardo da Vinci, comma, the, mm, we, I understand the message, but we gotta fix it a little Leonardo bit. Leonardo da Vinci is a painter. However, he, comma, however, his painting is abstract. The thing is that when you have Leonardo da Vinci is a painter. Sin embargo, su pintura es abstracta. Yeah, because you are using however. So it's using however. Is, is acting as a conjunction. Uh, can we use besides? I would recommend the following. It depends if you're if what you're talking is a contrast of what you said before. If it's a contrast, you can use however, but, yet. Because you're trying to make a contrast with the first thing and the second one. For example, uh, Mila, Mil, Mila Milovic, oh, besides being beautiful, she's a great actress. Yeah, yeah, you can use it. Okay. But we need to leave it a little bit open. Like in Julio's okay. example, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, the painter. No, I don't know how to put that one. The thing is that you don't have to complete like the whole idea. You need to leave something like, for example, Alejandro, comma, Alejandro, comma, the fat teacher, comma, mm -hmm. is great. <laughs> All right, the fat teacher is not necessary, but you need to leave something to complete the sentence. If you have Leonardo da Vinci is a painter, mm -hmm. however, his painting is abstract. It's um, I don't know. I just don't like the way it sounds. In this okay. case, Leonardo da Vinci, comma. I know you said Leonardo da Vinci, right? He Picasso. says Leonardo da Vinci. Ah, Picasso. Picasso, comma, a great painter, comma, uh, painted abstract paintings. Okay. Two, two comma. Uh -huh, because you need something in, in the middle of the sentence. Okay. And if you say Leonardo da Vinci, period, ahí va una oración. So that's why it's a little bit difficult to break it down. Got it? Okay. And I'm confusing da Vinci okay. with Picasso. Picasso, comma, a great Listen. painter, comma, paints abstract paintings so you need to leave something in the middle to have the non-defining clause because it's just one clause and with however you have two okay mm -hmm. all right guys so after this you know Rika, teacher by the way mm -hmm. uh, congratulations for this day oh, oh yeah you. yeah congratulations thank you very much i already got my gift today. <laughs> so yes can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Can you hear me? Loud and yes. 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 Clear. 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 Hello. Yes, it's clear. We hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. we can. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I was not able to hear you. Okay, yeah. let me go oh, ahead okay. and try again. Sorry, computer issues. Let me try again. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. All right, yes, excellent. Sir. Yes, sir. So now let's go ahead and practice our listening skills, guys. As you know, every time we start a unit, we go with listening. So let's go ahead and mute your mics. Pay attention, write down any new vocabulary, because when I come back, I will ask you questions. If I write by my head.
watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic, <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing. Whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rear view mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or in the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicate something that you didn't see and for safety reasons that I think you know I'd like to listen I'd like to bike and listen to music too but if you're gonna do that I think you should do that in a park what advice do you have for cyclists in the city people should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening what advice would you give people who are cycling with children I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception. And we may not have solved all the problems yet, 
but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Alrighty guys, so what was the video about? Cycling. Cycling. And about how people, uh, basically it's in Montreal, Canada, where people ride bikes. Uh, they do it for um, different reasons. Uh, and uh, they, well, there's a lot of information. So uh, <laughs> some of the advices that they gave, like they should share roads, they should expand. Uh, okay. The bikers should wear helmets. And... We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll talk, sorry to stop you. But uh, yes, we'll talk exactly about that, Thomas. We'll talk exactly about that. Because guess what? I got a lot of questions for you. Um, if you check the chat, I actually wrote a couple of questions. Yep. What's the meaning of commute? Does anybody know? It's like traveling, uh, driving together, uh, something like mm. commute. Mm. Anybody? <laughs> What is the meaning of commute? Com commute is when oh. you live in the far from this from the city or in the suburbs, and you have to travel um, maybe half an, or one hour. It's considered to be far far from the city. That is commute. Every day you commute to the to the city to work okay. to go to your job. Exactly. That's that's right. So pretty much when we talk about commute, guys, we talk about you traveling from your house One. to your job and vice versa all right so it's pretty much the traveling involved uh, between your house and your job that's the meaning of commute okay? okay so how would you explain commute using your own words is when you basically have to Either take a bus or walk or drive to work from work to from home to work every day. It's basically what you do. Either you take a bus. In my case, I take a motor taxi, or either I can take a I can ride a bike, and I can do it every day. Uh, it's my way to commute to the to work. Okay. Thomas, Thomas, we have to add to that explanation that, that you live far from the city. I mean, in order to commute. You have to live far from the city. But I live far. I live far from uh -huh. the city. I live in the, mm -hmm. in the live in the countryside. Uh -huh. And is... I live about from San Miguel is about forty-five minutes to thirty okay. minutes. You are a commuter. You are a commuter. I am a commuter. Yeah. San Miguel I commuter. Basic, but I work in Chapeltique, which is basically a city too. So I uh -huh. commute to the city every day. Okay. I but... travel from. Say I commute i travel there at, i go there at around six o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and i come back home at four o'clock so okay nice and oscar commute is not necessarily like a big distance okay so commute is, is the trip you do every single day from home to work and, and to from work uh home mm -hmm. so not necessarily as far as i as i understand right all right so there are some questions that we will be answering right now. Give some advice to cyclists. Something I want to tell you is that advice is different in Spanish and in English. In Spanish, we can say consejos, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but in English, we can't. Advice is irregular plural. Okay, so I'm going to give you an advice, and I'm going to give you some advice. Okay. Right? It um, doesn't advice change. Some advice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An advice and some advice. We never say advices advice. because it's incorrect. That's irregular plural. Okay, good. So, okay. Advice, some advice. For, uh, mm -hmm. for cyclists. Uh -huh. Give some advice question. to cyclists. Oh, that's not a question. I don't know why I wrote a question. I'll Sorry give you that. some advice. I'll Next give you one. some advice. Next one. What are some recommendations to drivers? What can the city do to encourage people to use their bikes? Okay. Right? Instead of you driving your car, riding your bike, taking the bus, why don't you ride a bike? What can the city do to encourage, to motivate? How can 
how can we and the city do to improve the safety of cyclists? To expand the, um, the role. There we go, we have one. Is biking expand. and listening to music a good idea? Nope. Oh, nice. No, it's a good idea. Right now, don't give me a lot of information because I'm going to open up the break room so we can chat. Is El Salvador a city for cycling? No. Yes, there. it is. Keep, keep it there. It, dep it depends. It depends. Because there you go. That's what we're going to talk. Okay. Do drivers depends respect where? bikers? Right in between cars. It depends too. It depends where okay. you are and depends and it depends who you are too. Okay. I, I, I and hear, let's go ahead I, and vice versa. Do bikers respect? Now, yes, normally, mostly. normally the, the first questions are talking about cyclists, about bicycles, not bike. Yeah. But in the last one, I added something about bikes because I know there's this kind of uh, issue, drivers, bikers, right? Like they don't get along. It's your fault. No, it's your fault. You don't respect. You don't respect me. So mm -hmm. that's what we're going to talk right now, guys. We're going to have no more than seven, eight minutes. And when we come back, I'm going to start asking you questions, all right? All right. All right. Good. All Go right. ahead and... And that's why I didn't, I didn't ask for, for, a lot of, for a lot of details right now. So you can talk about it. Go ahead and accept, please. I'll be visiting you. Hey, Douglas, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I couldn't join earlier because I was really busy. Okay, no, no, don't worry. Thank you very much for, for joining. I sent you an oh. invite so you can work with your classmates. All right, thank you. You're welcome. really good, not a good idea to be in the basically if you like from here to El Desvio it's, it's okay it's fine but from El Desvio to Chapel Tick not a good idea because every every car everybody is in a run they are in a rush they're trying to get where they are as soon as possible and you can see a lot of motor taxis a lot of cars and also there are many buses too and when you arrive in town when you arrive in Chapel Tique, there are too many cars around, so it's not a good idea to ride a bike. But if I had a choice, I would do it, but mm -hmm. as long as they make the road a little bigger and they had like an area for the bikes to be there. So yeah. in my case, yeah. So I don't know about you guys. There are, okay. I don't know, Elizabeth, if, if, you, if you can add something. Hello. Hi, Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Oh, she's she's working with her. Okay. Oh, okay. With her audio. All right. In the meantime, okay. the rest of you continue talking. Let me check another group. Okay. Okay. Try to try to answer the okay. questions or get the questions as a as a base. Commute. Okay. Commute. Commute travel to work. Tra and they have to be really prudent because. There are a lot of people who are who are not prudent and they are driving like they are crazy. And they, they have to respect the speed limits as well. They are driving like crazy. That's the that's the All right. Um, they are they are driving like crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. And you, Irene, 
what your point Sorry, of view I... what are some recommendations for the for the same question sorry or for the other question question whatever you want okay for me i i i give some advice to 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 cyclists to cyclists mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, the the cyclist um cool mm -hmm. Opposite, opposite uh, way with the car. In the, in the in the opposite way of the car. Oh yes. So driving driving against the the lane or driving against traffic or riding. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes uh, um, because if if the cy cyclist uh, drive the the biker in in the same way. It's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, I I have a motorcycle, and I try to respect all the the rules. I don't like to drive it in the other lane, mm -hmm. and uh, abrochar. How do you say abrochar? Fasten. My helmet. Fasten. Fasten. Uh, I I fasten my helmet. Mm -hmm. I respect the speed limits. I am prudent and I try to ride carefully. Okay, nice. All right, you're doing and a great what? job. You still have a couple of minutes. You can have the questions as a base and you can ask your own questions too. Continue, guys. You're doing great. And what's the meaning of lanes? Okay, no, no tenemos líneas o como se dice. Limits. Carriles, carriles. Lanes, carriles. that's good. Oh, lanes. lanes. We don't right. have lanes. I'm sorry, sir. You were asking something. What's the meaning of what? Commute. Oh, commute. Uh-huh. <laughs> they know I, that. I don't, they I don't know that. Explain it. I couldn't hear you. Okay, no worries then. So commute is pretty much for you to travel from your house to your job and from your job to your house. When you travel from your home mm -hmm. from to home. your job. Yep. From your house to your job, from your job to your house. It's a verb. Yes, it's a verb. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there are another question. What can the city do to encourage people? Mm -hmm. Recommendations. All right, continue, guys. We're almost we almost run out of time. Make sure you all. all right. To 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 make understand the cyclists, uh, their responsibilities. To make the cyclists yeah. understand. There uh, to make the cyclists understand. To uh, protect uh, cyclists, uh, I think it's very important to, to protect the cyclists. Yeah. Uh, However, uh, as we were talking, uh, the sidewalk uh, are a good idea because if there are sidewalks, you don't have to to ride your bike on the highway or in the middle of the road, and that would be for your safety. Anything else? Either on the floor or in the city. Yeah, uh, teacher, a question. Go ahead. How do you say? How do you say? Um, there I'm sorry. There are layers. Is What's that? Layers. 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 Oh, to, the, to create no. laws. To create. Ah, to create. Uh -huh. oh. You gotta create laws, and then they have to approve them. That's yep. what Naive is trying to do right now. <laughs> Create laws so they can be approved. Yeah, that's two different uh, things. But for the cyclists, uh, the city can create laws to protect them and also to to establish what uh, cyclists are allowed to do and what, what they don't. 
Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, guys, we're gonna go back. Okay. Alrighty guys, so pretty much we are back and um, we have a, I think, a good knowledge on what <clears throat> cyclists or riders, drivers should and shouldn't do. Recommendations and obligations, right? So this is why we're going to be working with this part of the story. Go ahead and read it with me, please. In these lessons, participants will learn to give recommendations and opinions with ought to, should, have got, and must. Repeat, please. In these lessons, participants will learn recommendations and opinions with ought to, should, have got, and must. must. Exactly. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to pay attention. This, uh, this video uh, is very useful, actually. We will pay attention on how to use it. And then we're going to go back to the break rooms so we can express our ideas the correct way. Okay. So let's go ahead and mute your mics. This is going to be played in a second. All right. Hi, I think English should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is up. All right, guys, pay attention to that. Should and ought to. This is when you think that something is a good idea. Let's continue. Absolutely necessary. We use must and have to or have got to. This is an obligation. Must and have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. All right, guys, what's the difference with the first and the second? Who can tell me that real quick? The first one is our recommendation. Uh huh. And the second one is a. Uh, mm, Obligation. Obligation. Uh huh. Oh, the first one is a good idea, mm -hmm. and the second one is uh, absolutely necessary. Yes. There you go. Okay, we'll be back to this one. Yes. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi. I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not shouldn't be allowed to walk dog. All 
All right, guys. So we're going to be using this structure right here in the same topic we were discussing previously. Now, how do you say los ciclistas deberían de estar requeridos, in this case, a usar un casco? The cyclist should cyclist be required to wear, wear a helmet. A helmet. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Should be required. Debería de ser como un requerimiento. Requisición. Okay. O un requisito. Exactly. Todavía no lo es. You're giving your opinion. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. Any new vocabulary on that one? Leash. 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 There you Correa. go. Correa. Mm -hmm. So, how do you say no debería de ser permitido? It shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be allowed. And then, what? It shouldn't be allowed to drink what does without a leash. After uh, 12 p.m., it shouldn't be allowed to, to drive fast. So you always have the verb right here. Uh, children, children under age shouldn't be allowed to drink alcohol. There you go. Children under age shouldn't be allowed to drink alcohol. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And I'm going to send it to the group. Now, Is there a difference between should and out? No. No, there's not. But out to is like more formal, more fancy. How to, how to be required. Mm -hmm. but more sophisticated. There, more sophisticated. There's not really much difference in this. All right. And then we have the next one. When you think something is absolutely necessary, must be passed, laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarm. Must be passed, como que deberían de ser pasadas para aprobación. Mustn't be permitted, no debería estar permitido, el que? To park motorcycles. Now, has to be made, has got to be done. Tienen que ser hechas. So we're going to be using these expressions when you think that it's absolutely necessary and the other one when you think it's a good idea. Any question before we move forward? No? Okay, porque hoy sí los estoy balanceando con la información. Quick and straight to the point. So let's go ahead and accept the break room. We're going to go back to the same idea. And I'm going to send this right now to the WhatsApp group so you can express your ideas using this chart. Go ahead and accept the invite, please. Uh, a, a safety vest, yes, safety vest with a with with a fluorescent light uh, all the with time. Reflecting, reflecting, fan, for example, reflecting, and make sure and you work with v vest with v as in Victor, because if you say v vest, it's like mejor, and the other one vest. Here, I'm gonna put okay. it on the camera. So here, what is the difference? Vest here. Vest. 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 It's going to be vest. like chaleco, right? R yes. Like vest. 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 Do you see the difference? Okay. 
best. Okay. Best. Best. If you say best, that's best. the correct best. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right. Continue. Continue. Um, a law shall be passed to make sure that the bikers are we are having their lights on when it's necessary, mm -hmm. so they won't have an accident if they ever get close, close get night. Ah, damn it! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there should be the law must be passed to control uh, the the drive the bikers. So they can have a lie on. So if they ever get late from work, from work, they, the car or someone else will see that they are coming. So they won't get an, an accident on the road, on their way back home. Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, uh, another my opinion, uh, lost, uh, well, well, some, it's something necessary, uh, uh, lost, uh, must be, uh, must be, re, uh, but must be down permit. I, I don't know if, if it's correct. Mustn't be permitted. Ma, must mustn't, be per, or mustn't, uh, uh mustn't, you, mustn't, mustn't to be, permit it. Mustn't be permitted. Uh huh. Yes, that, that. Go ahead. Mustn't be, mustn't be permitted. Uh, build uh, mm -hmm. a street with uh -huh. uh, with no particular space for cyclists. I don't know. Mm, yeah, yeah, we're doing good. It's the idea. Yeah, that's the idea. Um, also, there should be a park where cyclists will have a chance to travel around and have an area. Okay. I think people should be required to to take distance each other in order to avoid the spread of coronavirus. Uh, I, I think that you good recommendation. Not about cycling, but I like Some the fact that people out. It's part in admin, it's no necessary motorcycles, maybe. All right, I thought we only had to speak about the cyclists and drivers. No, but it's okay, don't worry about it. If you're giving more information, that's great because you are using the vocabulary. Ah. All right, so yeah, no worries. As long as try to use the, the, the image that I sent to you so you can express your, your idea. Okay, thank you. And you, Nubia? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the teacher uh, sent uh, a question in the group, WhatsApp group. Yes, uh, he I sent don't... A, 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 a picture. I... I am not in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Only use uh, must must be should be for uh, using a recommendation or or suggestion for the cycles and drivers. No, oh, yeah. Okay. In also use the. There is in to protect your knees Protective and your fats elbows. And knee fats. <laughs> ah, wow, I see. Protect. Oh. Do you body. know how to ride a bicycle, Anita? No. When I was a child, oh I, have a, a, I have patines. Ah, roller okay. skates. I, I, <laughs> my, my father. Uh, uh, roller skates. Uh, <laughs> uh, ¿cómo sería? My father. Uh, wear me and the uh, uh, corre patin in the I colonial see. calon. I uh, see. Uh, my my I father go... took me too. Me llevó a. My father took me too. Took okay. me too. Uh, the corre patin in, in the colonial calon. 
in uh, Colonia Escalón. In Colonia wow. Escalón, I, I remember that I enjoy the time with my father. Is a, I have a nice infancy and I don't, I don't know what do you uh, say. Childhood. 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 That, that's how you say infancy, childhood. childhood. My childhood. Repeat me. Childhood. 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 Is a, is a, is a, a good time for me. Wow, wow, special. The, the rollers were on, on a straight line or, or four wheels? ¿Se quedan patines de cuatro ruedas o una línea de ruedas? Four. <laughs> four wheels. Four. How do you say that, teacher? How do we In say line, that? The, the other ones are roller skates. The, roller the four, skates. Four wheels, roller skates. Roller and the skate. other ones, if I'm not mistaken, is um, inline skates. Inline okay. Skate. What kind of um, roller skate did you have? Inline skates or 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 four wheels? Four wheels. Four wheels. Ah, I see. You also have a break in, in the front of the shoe. Break no, in no. front of them. Did you, did you have? Uh, yes, yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. I I have. A, I, I remember. I have a. a a break, a break. Break, break uh, yes. Oh my goodness. Good for you. I've already forgotten to try a bike. <laughs> okay. Did you did you did you do you know how to drive a bike, David? Yes, but it's gonna probably be... I have already forgotten to drive. Wow. <laughs> Ride. Ride. Why? Ride a I... bike. That is the verb. Uh -huh. you know, yes, it's true. Right. Right, I right. I like to ride bikes, but I um I, I. La estructura es models plus B plus past participle. Mm -hmm. eh, y en esa eh, en esa idea es como se dice. Las tenemos que hacer. That's how you gotta. That's how you gotta use. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, for example, teacher, we were talking about um. Driving fast, mm -hmm. so it could be people shouldn't be permitted to mm -hmm. driving or to drive fast. To drive fast, correct? Because you gotta keep the uh, the infinity. To drive, ah, yeah, fast. yeah. To drive fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's it's okay. Drivers. Driver shouldn't shouldn't leave her in through the window. Shouldn't. Driver shouldn't leave her in or leave her. Oh yeah. yeah, like throw trash through the window. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Throw trash out the window is gonna be. Out the window. Okay. Out the window. Yep, littering. Mm -hmm. Littering, yes. Littering. Litter Litter is either. like dependent how you say it. litter. It could be basura because of the sound, or it can also be litter, the litro. So you gotta be uh, the, the context uh -huh. is gonna take you because they sound very similar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys, let's go back to the main room. When you are going to drive, it would be good to do a car check. Correct. Correct. Okay. Alrighty, guys, so is this topic difficult to you? Were you able to express your ideas with this structure? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah, kind of. Yes. Yeah. You have to say you should, you should wear something or... It's a recommendation, huh? You must and you must is a, is a, a must. I mean, it's obligation. It's an obligation, as a matter of fact. You can say, uh -huh. no, that's uh -huh. a must. When you hear that's the expression, yes. that's, a must, that's a must, that means that ah. it must be done no matter what. So, yeah. Teacher, I'm sorry. I, I would like to know, is a must or, or a must? Because a I, must. I hear... Must. Huh? Must. 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 Mm -hmm. It's a must. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. 
must is a law, right? And should is like a, it's an option. Exactly. You should is a recommendation. A recommendation. Yeah. Pretty much. And now too, it's yes. pretty much the same thing. You can choose which one to use. And must, it's an obligation. So you must practice if you want to learn English. And you should study every single day. It's actually a must, like, but I know you have a job and responsibility. Like in my case, if I ever want to be a good chef, I must practice every day. There if I want to be bilingual, I must practice my English grammar because that, that's when I get stuck. Like you get stuck mm -hmm. in something. Mm -hmm. so. Exactly. Yeah. And I, must, right, I must review. You must review every single day. So let's uh, go I mean, ahead and practice. For more information, I, I will practice. Say it again, please. Yeah. Would you mind saying it again, Julio? Uh, I will look for more information and I will practice. Okay, good. As a matter of fact, you can use the, the thing that I sent to you a couple of, a couple of minutes ago. Remember, get the structure and start replacing verbs and vocabulary. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So go ahead and, and keep an eye on that. Thank you. So I'm going to be asking you questions tomorrow. Okay? Okay. okay. Tomorrow. All right. No problem. Get out of here. Have a good night. Take See care. ya. See ya. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Take care. <laughs>